Hi, this is John from Lamb with the Whistler here. I'm going to talk to you about CES, the Consumer Electronic Show in Las Vegas. So, unfortunately, I'm actually not at CES because I'm in Australia, but um, I have searched up a lot of news posts online and I've, um, I've come up with a top list of uh, uh, cool gadgets that have come out of CES. So the first thing I want to talk about is Intel's release of its ultra light netbooks. Now these netbooks are claimed to be as thin as an inch thick and uh, have 14 to 15 um, inch displays. Now these, they've always, they've also said that these um, new range of light netbooks or notebooks have added touch and voice features, just like um, accessibility features that allow you to um, use the device with uh, more actions and more gestures. So who needs a tablet when I've got a netbook or a notebook the size of this exercise book? So another really cool gadget I saw released in CAS on the news that was pretty much everyone has spoke about was the Parrot AR Drone version 2. This new drone, or the actual drone itself, is actually a device that allows you to manipulate, um, it's like a remote control aeroplane helicopter thing that you can control with your iPad or iPhone. In 2010, version 1 for this um, remote control device was released. And now in 2012 at CES, the version 2 is released. So, the version 2 device has now 720p HD video which is pretty amazing and according to pictures I've seen it's a tiny little camera mounted onto the top of the device. Version 2 promises easier flying controls and allows you to transfer video straight off the ro remote parrot device to your, de uh, your iPad. The amazing thing is that you can now even transfer that 720p video that's recorded live on the device straight through your Wi-Fi network and into your iPad. That is really amazing. Good stuff, Parrot. And so the, with the next gadget I'm going to talk about is the Fujitsu Arrow Waterproof Tablets. Now these tablets are waterproof to an unknown depth. They haven't released it yet. Um, but they're running Android 3.2. They have a 10.10 inch screen. A 1 gigahertz dual core processor. But unfortunately, these are only available in Japan, um, and, but they'll be available in North America later on in 2012. So this is my roundup for all the first cool-ass gadgets that have been released on the first day of CES. This is Jonathan Lamb with The Whistler. Please like, rate, and subscribe, um, and I'll see you on my next video.